31st of May in the year 1913, John Hartnett and Bridget Joyce were married in this church. Both were raised on farms in the area around Yall, a harbor town located in County Cork, Ireland. Bridget was raised on a 55-acre farm of lush fields and crops. She had three sisters and a brother. The farm was sold off in 1947, years after all four sisters had emigrated to Boston. This is all that remains of the Joyce farm. This is John and Johanna Joyce, grandparents of Bridget the original owners of the farm that lasted for five generations. Bridget was the last sister to leave the country. She said she never wanted to see Ireland again. Bridget was an accomplished horsewoman. She belonged to a riding group, a group that gathered on Sundays for an afternoon of riding out and picnicking in the countryside and along the coastline. This was where she met John Hartnett. They fashioned a bond to make the dream of going to America come true. Her love of horses was passed down to following generations of horse people in the Hartnett line. Not much is known about John. He left a brother Tom and a sister Teresa behind. Bridget's sisters, Margaret, Minnie, and Nora, had left Ireland years before, and now Bridget, with a husband in tow, would soon join them. They said goodbye to one coastal city and hello to another far away. They sailed directly to Boston aboard the RMS Olympic. This was a sister ship of the Titanic. The Olympic was converted to a, a troop carrying vessel, which was used during World War I. John was 25 years old, Bridget was 30, and pregnant with her first child. They arrived in Boston, tired and hungry, on June 18, 1913, and were met by Bridget's three sisters, who had taken care of living arrangements in a new building called the Charles Bank Homes, which was located in the west end of Boston. Together, they would raise four children here, Marion, Eileen, Elizabeth, and John. However, Elizabeth died as a child. All three surviving siblings remained in the Charles Bank even after growing up and marrying. Marion had four children, Eileen one and John four. It's doubtful John or her sisters went beyond grammar school. There were parks and beaches nearby and a large courtyard to play in under the watchful eye of their parents. The whole city was their playground and John, who grew in to be a dark Irishman with black wavy hair, a ready smile revealed a good sense of humor. He made friends easily and they were many in number. Somewhere along the way, John, or Gabby, as he was now called after the famous baseball player, Gabby Hartnett, met and wooed Mary Elizabeth Johnson. They eloped to New Hampshire in 1938 to marry. They were both 18, kids of the Great Depression.
On December 7, 1941, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and America was at war. By 1946, after the war had ended, Mary and Gabby had four children of their own. There was Johnny, there was Richard, followed by Eileen and Paul. Gabby had always hoped that all four children would grow up to be well-adjusted and content with their lot in life. Mary's sisters, who lived with us, Dolly, Mildred, known as Dolly, and Helen, were all grown up and on their own. Dolly married Peter Gallo, and Helen married Roy Lamoni. Her brother Tommy had married as well and had two children. He had married Helen Farley. Joe Johnson, he remained single. By 1960, it all came crashing down. Time ran out for the Hartnets and many others as urban renewal laid waste to a thriving multi-ethnic community of 12,000 people to make way for luxury housing. We were displaced and forced to move and relocate elsewhere. Despite efforts to stop the taking by a committee set up to save the West End, it was time to leave. In the span of a hundred years, a man and a woman from Ireland came to America and in five generations, leave a legacy of a family fully American. Bridget lived out her time and died at age 83 in 1963. Mary died young, 56 years old. She died in 1976. Gabby lived to be 79 years old. He lived most of his adult life battling MS. In the end, he was surrounded by his own four kids, his four granddaughters, and his six great-grandchildren. Eileen died in 2013. She was followed by her beloved husband, Louis, who died in 2019. Erica Hartnett, the daughter of Richard Patty Hartnett, is the last person to carry the Hartnett name.